All right, you guys. Welcome to the WSSEA Rocket League 3v3 tournament. This is the um, final match of the regular season. Uh, we are streaming from Mr. Wood's classroom. All right, you guys, this is Lake Stevens versus Kamayakin. It's a round robin tournament. Um, we should, hard to predict, we should win this one. Uh, we are currently undefeated with our A team, although one of our main players from our A team is not home yet, and he still has to update Rocket League when he gets home. So we are playing uh, kind of a person down, but I think we still still should be just fine. Let's go ahead and jump right into the game. For Lake Stevens, today we have our three players. That would be X7 Hayes, Deadly Aereo, and Sir Brett from. For the Kamayakin team, even Chase, Retro, and Rusty. Deadly Aereo is the player who's stepping in for um, our player who is unavailable right now. A shot on goal, and a good save by Brett from. Looks like Lake Stevens is in the blue. And Kamayakin is over there in the orange. A little bit of a dribble by Hayes off the wall. Nice little aerial, nice little touch, but right into the waiting arms of three Kamayakin players off the wall mid stage. So Red comes on an open goal, takes the first blood for Lake Stevens High School. Uh, if any of you guys are watching online, maybe you could let me know a little bit about how the audio balance is, because I am playing without sound right now, because there's no way I could hear any of it. 30 seconds in, Lake Stevens draws first blood into the waiting hands of Hayes. Even Chase goes high for an aerial, but misses Hayes. Rolls it right front. Can Lake Stevens secure? No, nope. Rusty blocks it up the right side of the post. Roll high into the corner. Two breadcrumbs. Sliding back, getting that boost. Rusty misses the pinch off the wall as breadcrumbs tip it towards the goal. Even Chase on defense is in the danger zone right here. An aerial from Hayes. The second shot from Hayes, who scores the second shot. It is now two to zero. One for Hayes, one for breadcrumbs. Deadly Aereo in third. One minute in, Lake Stevens is a pretty dominant player. For those of you guys who haven't seen it before, Rocket League 3v3 Esports is the best three out of five. So we have three, uh, we have five three minute games and whoever wins three games first takes the match. Shot on goal, but all three Lake Stevens players in the goal. Oh, it's every area moves out of the way and Stephen Chaser is able to send it over his head. All three Lake Stevens players there, they block and then I think they all split and went going for the next thing and the goal was left open and unfortunate little chip right there out in front of the goal. Minute and two seconds in, Kamayakin uh, has struck back. It's still two to one. Lake Stevens has an early lead. The red comes down into the middle, bounces to the Lake Stevens side of the pitch. Every just goes high into the corner. Nobody's there. Hayes is back there now. Lake Stevens in position, and no Kamayak in there to follow up. Being dribbled down the field, intercepted by Lake Stevens. Out in front of the goal, Hayes misses, slams into the wall. Oh, it's out in front of the goal, but it's sent out of the way by Eden Chaser. Cleared, deep into the corner, Deadly Aereo's on defense. Nice little chip there, nice little pinch. Red comes on the wall, rolls it around. Nice punch, blocked by Retro. Rolls into Lake Stevens territory, shot on goal. Hayes is not able to get high enough, it's two to two. Lake Stevens and Kamayakin are tied up. Kickoff sends it back into Kamayakin territory. Redcombs rolls it in, challenges, oh, a really good shot by Rusty's defense in the goal. Now he's sending it back. Hayes rolls it around the corner. A good spot, a good hit, a beautiful goal by Sir Redcombs. It's three to two. Lake Stevens up to three minutes left in this first game. A nice little touch by Sir Redcrumbs there. Not a whole lot of uh, room to maneuver. Sent high to the side. A shot on goal, a big miss by the Kamayakin player. Redcrumbs takes that, rolls it back into the corner. Go to the chip, back to Hayes, who misses. Looks like Deadly Aereo's back on the goal there. Rusty tries to take it to the corner. Redcrumbs is there, blocked, rolled high over the goal off the backboard, over to the other side of the Lake Stevens territory. Back over the goal, and a good block by Hayes. That was a really good position by the Kamayakin players. Looks like there might be an open goal. Oh, Hayes with the flub. He had the goal. He had, his, he had an open goal and he missed the touch. Very unfortunate. All right, looks like, I'm not sure who that was. Retro's kind of kind of wrestling with the Kamayakin player there. Hayes going nice and slow, a nice little touch. Retro's in the way. Breckham's is back. He's in the corner. High up at the top. 
Midfield, right from Founders. Nice punch, towards the goal, off the wall, aerial, but a good defense. It's right in the danger zone. Get the hey, yes, there it is. It's four to two. Lake Stevens takes a two-point lead over to Mayakin. Uh, forgive me for just a second, you guys. Almost a shot on goal for Lake Stevens there. Danger zone. Hayes is there. Let's get to the left side of the goal. Really great uh, rebound work there. Hayes is the, the, the breadcrumbs Hayes connection is one we've seen all season long. You two guys have been watching the A team since week one. It's up a couple times where people had to go. Dental by breadcrumbs. Put up the bat. A shot, but a great save by Hayes. Off the wall, tip high. Hayes is just always in the right place. Nice little wombo combo. It's floating towards Lake Stevens goal. Oh, a good shot by Kamayakin, but not able to confirm. Oh, that was a great shot. Just a little bit outside. Into the corner. 60 seconds left. Oh, there's a shot by Kamayakin. It's 5 to 3, 55 seconds left. Uh, if I'm being quiet, you guys, it's because I'm also trying to communicate with other teams at the same time. Have you connected with their coach yet? They are trying to. All right, ball is high, midfield, a little bit of a, a jostle in the middle there. 40 seconds left, so Mayakin's going to have to turn on the heat. They're going to get two points in this 30 seconds demo by Crumbs, and I blocked by Hayes, goes back into the Mayakin territory. Retro with a little jump off the wall, didn't really get the, the distance I think he needed there. Rusty comes in high, used a bunch of boost. Redcrum sends it back to floating this game. Big miss by Retro. Going the wrong way, unfortunately, for Kamayakin. Sends it down towards the goal, but a good block by Even Shade. Redcrumb sends it high. Four seconds left. This is all but over for Lake Stevens. Maybe we can get a nice little touch there by Sir Redcrumb. No, almost. A nice try in the style at the end there. The first game goes to Lake Stevens. It is one to zero. It's the best of five, like I said. Breadcrumbs and Deadly are here. We're still waiting for Hayes, who hasn't connected yet. Come on, Hayes, get in here. There's Hayes, okay. It has begun. A little bit of an awkward start. It's supposed to all start at the same time. Looks like Hayes wasn't paying attention, but we are good. Nice shot by Breadcrumbs. Open goal, but doesn't get the angle that he needs to. Bumps into Hayes on accident. for the radio science guys trying to take care of some things. Nice little setup by Kamaikin, but the play wasn't there to confirm. Actually jostling around like Stevens bumping into each other. Oh, that's a, oh, that was a scary shot. Oh, it's the neighbors will come on, get it out of there. Hayes tips it out of the way. We got, we got a live audience in the room today. It's very exciting. Even Chase sends it towards the goal. Oh no, his own teammate sends it out of the way. Unfortunate. Nice little aerial, not the angle they need to though. Open field for Lake Stevens, Hayes rolls it around the corner, even stays out of position. One player at the goal, oh, good defense. It's 
three minutes and 30 seconds left in the second game. We were tied zero to zero. They are, neither of them want to commit to the game. Even there's a little bit of dribbling down towards the goal, but kicked out of the way by Hayes. Breadcrumbs misses that one. Oh, the pole helping us out there. Rolls around the corner. Breadcrumbs going for the boost. Even Chase goes in. Two Kamayaki players goes in. Great defense, deadly aerial and breadcrumbs looks like. Midfield, breadcrumbs misses a little bit of a dribble there up on the wall by Even Chase. Rolls it around. A little bit of an aerial. Oh, a flip reset, not that bad. Doesn't matter. The goal was nice and clean. Hayes was there for the aerial, but missed the connection. Breadcrumbs, no boost, trying to get back on defense. Deadly area is there though. Thank you so much for getting there in time. Breadcrumbs is desperately trying to get some boost and facing behind that Kamaika player the whole time. Rusty sends it back. We got two. We are halfway through this game. Oh no, that's bad. Oh, off the top. Deadly, deadly aerial just sends it out of the way. Hayes is taking it to an open goal. Oh, Kamaika kick gets in the way. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. Breadcrumbs not able to confirm though. Deadly is there. A lovely header. Breath comes, sends it out of the way. Nice little double tap. Accidentally sends it back to Lake Stevens territory. Up to, up to the corner. Lake Stevens side of the pitch towards the goal. Not the angle they needed though. Deadly rolls back into the goal. Hayes sucking him for a little bit of dribble here. We've seen Hayes do some fancy footwork on the field before. Yeah. Fancy footwork, fancy wheel work. You get the, you get it. Um, below average, I am going to stream this one until we're done, and then I will join one of your guys' streams, just because it's the final one of the season, and we win this one undefeated, so I want to capture this one. Oh, an open goal, but a bad touch by Kamaya can hit the top of the goal post. You hate to see it, Kamaya can, that may have been their chance to get the edge, but they just missed. Hayes gets a deep clear, Kamaya can block it, Red comes over the cross, Hayes is not in position, Deadly Aerial back in goal. It's dead. Why is it dead? I charged it. Um, okay, that's fine. I can fix this.
Okay, test, 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 test. I think we're back. Oh, that's really loud. Turn that down a little bit. Turn that down, turn that down. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Please make sure that TV gets carefully rolled back in here. Don't leave anything behind. Watch the Twitch stream. Bye. It is three to two. Lake Stevens is up one point in this third game. It is tied one to one for the match set. Lake Stevens is one. Thank you very much. Yeah, sorry, Hayden. I, uh, my microphone died. <laughs> kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Is the stream a little glitchy for you guys? A little hitchy, a little glitchy? Yeah, it's not very smooth, is it? I wonder why that is. It's probably my uh, internet. I'm on the school internet. A nice attempt by Hayes there. Bye, everybody. All right, breadcrumbs, a beautiful touch. Come on, I can play in defense. Blake Stevens up a point with a minute 20 left in the game. So it comes back on defense. A little bump. Hayes sends it high and clear. Got a minute left, a nice little touch, sends it across midfield. Retro swings and misses. Gets stuck on breadcrumbs, bounces midfield. They're stuck on each other right now. Deadly rolls it to the side. It's in a bad spot, not really sure what those two are doing. <laughs> Is that the thing where like when you get stuck on somebody, you hold it until, you, until someone gives up? <laughs> I've seen that before. I've seen the meme. All right, punted by Rusty's into the corner, 30 seconds. Blake Stevens just needs to keep this away for another 30 seconds. Breadcrumbs and Hayes both go high. Send it into the corner. They're out of boost, though. He's got a full boost on the corner. Hayes misses on that corner shot. Breadcrumbs rolls it around. 22 seconds left. Oh, Breadcrumbs almost gets it, but it's pinched by Rusty's for the save back into Lake Stevens' territory. Retro swings, bounces off the wall, tries to double touch, misses. A good shot by the other Kamaikan player. Rolls high up into the corner. 10 seconds left. Come on, Lake Stevens. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, Hayes punts it high and clear. That's probably enough. Rolls it around, two seconds left. Hayes pinches it towards the side, and that is game two. Lake Stevens, I'm sorry, game three. Lake Stevens is up two to one. This is the best of five format, which means Lake Stevens needs to win one more match in order to remain undefeated in the Rocket League Major Tournament. All right, this is game four. Lake Stevens, if we can secure this. That's a win for Lake Stevens A. If not, we go to game five. Lake Stevens A, I don't think, has had a game five yet. In fact, I don't even know if Lake Stevens A has lost a single match yet. We may be seeing something uh, that we haven't seen this season. I don't fully remember. Actually, I think we may have lost one to Woodland Day. I don't really remember. Demo by Hayes. Rusty sends it towards Deadly. Punts it back towards Kamayakin territory into the corner. Off the corner, high into the corner. Roll towards midfield. The retro misses and he bounces off the wall. Awkwardly fumbling around midfield. Hayes knocks it to the side. And Rusty's clears it. Back to Lake Stevens' corner. Breadcrumbs. Gonna go for a, dri a dribble, but he's intercepted. Breadcrumbs punts it to the corner. A nice little bounce. No Lake Stevens players there to confirm, unfortunately. Oh, high into the corner, misses. Breadcrumbs is there, a nice shot, but it's a little bit too wide. Pinches up the Kamaikan player. Hayes tries to go high, but Retro stops it. Deadly in position. Breadcrumbs gets for the save, though. Hayes, high flying Hayes, misses that one on the aerial. Breadcrumbs sends it towards the middle, centers it! What a goal by Breadcrumbs! He gets it off the side of the post at the most beautiful angle off of that corner. I cannot believe that went in. A nice little double touch on the way back down. But I mean, the double touch is nice, but the angle, angle was gorgeous. Three minutes and 40 seconds left in this game four. Lake Stevens Kamayakin dead in the middle of the field. Breadcrumbs sends it back. Even Chaser pushes in towards the goal, but a nice save by Hayes. Moves it out of position and sends it right down towards the Kamayakin goal. Hayes is in position, but he doesn't have the angle. Breadcrumbs tries to confirm, but he swings a little bit too wide. Really great setup by Hayes. No, no ability to confirm, unfortunately, by either of them. Breadcrumbs sends it around the corner. I think Deadly's back on defense still. 
Nice challenge by Hayes. Sends it back into Kamaikan territory. Three minutes left. A good touch into the danger zone. Breadcrumbs neutralizes it. It's floating up in front of the Kamaikan goal. Hayes takes a shot. Oh, what a shot that was from midfield. The speed on that one. 90 kilometers per hour. Beautiful touch. Sends it right over the Kamaikan goalie. Not able to touch it. Blake Stevens is up 2-0. to zero. Two minutes and 50 seconds left. We're almost halfway done with this game four. Another neutralized ball after the kickoff. Breadcrumbs on offense in the corner. Pulls back, gets some boost. Rotates. Deadly's back there on defense. So is Hayes. Breadcrumbs off the ceiling. Dribbling, dribbling. Nice job. Over retro. Hayes is in position. No way, Hayes! Three to zero. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this game four. The synergy between these two players is unreal. Look at that touch. It doesn't get prettier than that. I'm losing my voice. I'm yelling so loudly in my classroom all by myself. Halfway done with game four. Two minutes and 31 seconds left. Breadcrumbs waits. Deadly. Ugh, almost caught flat-footed for a second there. Breadcrumbs a little, a little tiny touch. Pinches it down on top of Hayes' head. Rolls it in front of the goal! Hayes misses! No! That couldn't have been a prettier setup! That's okay. We'll give Hayes we'll give Hayes a little bit of a we'll give him a little bit of slack after his performance so far. A beautiful setup. That's happened a lot this season. Oh my gosh, he sneaks it past! Sneaks it past the Kamaikan players. Four to zero. Lake Stevens is running away with this game at this point. Breadcrumbs wins the challenge. Just got to keep it, keep it out of the Lake Stevens goal four times for two minutes. That's all we're looking for here. Not, not a hard thing to accomplish. Nice little flip reset, but a great challenge by Hayes and Deadly. Really great offense by Kamayakin, but a stone wall defense by Lake Stevens. Deadly sends it back towards the Kamayakin side of the pitch. Backs into the goal. Floating into, in a dangerous position, Hayes tries to get the angle. Breadcrumbs tries to confirm, pitches it up, rolls high into the sky. Can he get the touch? No, it's a little bit too wide. Challenges the dribble. Beautiful challenge. Who's going to win that touch? Oh, Hayes tries to go for the angle, but misses it. Breadcrumbs back on defense. Deadly's there. Deadly misses right over Deadly's head. It's 4-1, to one, a minute 10 left in the game. pushes. Hayes gets a nice little touch over the top, but a great save by Even Chase. Bouncing around midfield right now. Mayakin trying to get into position. Hayes neutralizes it. Breadcrumbs off the backboard. Trying to get to that boost. Gets it in position. Oh, great, great defense by Mayakin there. Deadly rolls it up the side. Missed by Mayakin. Touches, bounces, still in the danger zone. Breadcrumbs going for a little bit of a dribble here, but a great block by Even Chase. Deadly goes up on the wall. Even's got the full boost. Oh man, a little bit of a dribble here. Scary, scary, good touch. Retro tries to get the angle. Breadcrumbs is there. They're crashing into each other in the corner. That's what you do in this game. Great angle by Retro, rolling down the field. Is Lake Stevens on defense? Yes, it is, but it's not enough. Over the top, a great shot by Kamaikin. Five seconds left. Probably going to be it, though. Five seconds left to get two points to get to overtime, but otherwise, Lake Stevens is going to win this one. It'll be game three. Lake Stevens will round up the season undefeated. Five seconds to stand between us and an undefeated regular season. Nice roll by Hayes. High up into Kamaikin territory, and that is going to be... The game, even Chaser trying to keep it alive, but it's four to two. Lake Stevens wins game four, three one, which means Lake Stevens A ends the regular season undefeated.
There we go. We just need to spectate. Let's see where we're at. Kennedy Catholic. It is one to one. Nice. We got a good game on our hands here. This is uh, first week for Ter uh, Pterodactyl, so you're seeing some new gameplay or some new uh, some new players for the Lake Stevens team. And of course, last week we saw Bob Ross Cool uh, take it to an overtime game five against our opponents, and then win at a kickoff kickoff point. One of the most hype Rocket League matches I've commentated so far. Very fun to watch. Let's get some Bob Ross. Let's get some. Uh, Cool story, Bob's in the chat. Lake Stevens is in the blue, by the way, if that wasn't clear. Tater Tots rolls it off the side. Nice position, sends it towards the goal. Oh, a good shot, but Pre uh, Pretzen, actually Pretzen, Preston, Pretzen uh, was the player that um, was on the team that we barely beat last week, so this is going to be a good game. I didn't realize, I forgot we even played these guys last week. We've got Preston. I know it's Preston, but I'm gonna say Preston because it's hard for me otherwise. Chilsted and uh, Cobain. Everyone fighting for it on the Lake Steven side, high into the air. Pterodactyl sends it around the side. Nice, rolls it around the corner. A good position. Toss is not able to confirm though. Instead, neutralizes the high up of the corner. Shoved up into the ceiling. Pterodactyl sends it around the corner around Preston. Oh, loses the challenge against Cobain. Tots rolls it off the, hop, the top of his car. Bob Ross cool intercepts midair. Comes back down for air. Some really great aerials by this Lake Steven squad right now. Pterodactyl goes back on defense. Nice touch, rolls it around the corner. Waits, rolls back towards the goal, very smart. Tots an unfortunate miss there. Gives Kennedy Catholic a chance. A nice save by Bob Ross cool. Bane rolling around the ceiling, trying to get back on defense. Pterodactyl misses the touch there. Bob Ross rolls it around. It's in good position. It's in very good position. Come on, Lake Stevens. Oh, great defense by the Kennedy Catholic goalie high up in the sky. Sent back towards a scary open Lake Stevens goal, but Pterodactyl is able to move it out of the way. Oh, be careful here. Okay, hold for center field. Preston challenges. A nice punt for them. It's in position. Lake Stevens sends it back around the corner. All three Lake Stevens players were in position for defense. Chilstad misses the touch there. He's sitting around in Lake Stevens goalie, uh, in Lake Stevens goal. Bob Ross, nice touch. Can he beat him? He does, he sends it across, but it's too much speed. No Lake Stevens players are there. Off the wall by Potts, a nice angle. Great block by Kennedy Catholic. That's a good position. Oh, it's too hard, it's too far to the left. That looks like he was a good position. Tots jockeying for position in that in that corner, but the exchange taken away by Kennedy Catholic. Cobain demos pterodactyl. It's in position for Kennedy Catholic. Tots rolls it over Cobain, who misses the block. Tots across. Nothing there. It's in the Lake Stevens territory. Bob Ross sends it high. Cobain blocks. Bob Ross tries to double tap in the air, but misses. Pterodactyl challenges. Nice touch by Chillstad, but looks like Tots is there to take it away. Some slow dribble in here. Preston punches it past two Lake Stevens players. Oh, a great shot by Chillstad and a great block by Pterodactyl. And Bob Ross makes sure that Preston doesn't have the angle he needs for that one. Chillstad in the goal. Bob Ross over the top. Oh, it doesn't have the angle. Yeah, the, the cool thing about Oh my gosh, Bob Ross, come on, man! Come on, Bob Ross! The really cool thing about this season for Lake Stevens is throughout the season, our roster has just got deeper and deeper. We started with, um, I think, 10 or 11 players, just enough to field three full teams. And I almost uh, had one of our teams forfeit. Oh my gosh, Lake Stevens, no one's in position to put that one away. Bob Ross chips it up over the goal. Come on, Bob Ross! Get it, Bob Ross! Oh my gosh, Bob Ross, no! <laughs> that was beautiful! What a shot by Bob Ross. Cannot believe that didn't go in. He did everything right. Cobain, oh no! Looks like he missed his angle there. 
Oh, good catch by Bob Ross. I was a little bit worried about that one for a second. 15 seconds left. It's tied 0-0. Zero zero. This is a really tight game. Come on, Terra. Oh, I, I thought the goal was open. I got really excited for a second. Cobain. Oh my gosh, no way! <laughs> We're got me going to overtime, you guys! I cannot believe it. They almost put it away with five seconds left, but instead we go to overtime. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, a good shot by Bob Ross. Good speed, good angle, good block by Kennedy Catholic. Back off the backboard. Cobain misses. Todd sends it back towards the middle. Bob Ross going back with some boost. Cobain on defense. Two Kennedy Catholic players are in the position. A great angle by Tots. Intercepted by Cobain. Uh, yeah, our roster started off with about 11 players, and we almost weren't able to field uh, three teams because uh, two players were unavailable, and I had to frantically scramble to find people to play and fill our spots. But since then, so many people have become interested in playing that we now have more than we need every week. What a beautiful shot by Bob Ross! Cool guides it in! Rolls off the front of his hood of his car, up! A nice little touch, and over the top by Bob Ross. I think that was even a double touch. I couldn't really tell at the end there. Lake Stevens wins overtime, just like game one OT. Uh, below average gamer in the other game right now says they just took game one in overtime. Do you mean game one of five, or do you mean the whole thing? Because that's awesome. Congrats. Bob Ross cool. He doesn't like to do anything halfway. Bob Ross, he wants it to go to overtime and he wants to win in overtime. That's what happened last time. We went to game five against these guys and he won with an overtime point um, in overtime of game five. We're hoping Lake Stevens can be a little bit more secure this time. Up 2-1 in the series. We moved on to, I think this is Forbidden Temple or Hidden Temple. Nice touch by Pterodactyl, but he's not able to get it down. Come on, Tots! A nice little touch! Oh my gosh, the, the post is Kennedy Catholic's strongest player right now. Three shots robbed by that post. Unfortunate for Lake Stevens. Bob Ross is in position, playing defense, which is good because the other two players miss, <laughs> missed that aerial block. Okay, all three Lake Stevens players kind of roll in together. Preston challenges. This is not good. Nobody's there. Oh, a big miss by whoever that was for Kennedy Catholic. Bob Ross and Pterodactyl are going in. Bob Ross, a little touch. Preston saves. Chillset sends it back towards their side of the pitch. Pterodactyl challenges. It's in position. Can Lake Stevens do it? A nice touch, but a little bit too wide. Preston escorts it out of Kennedy Catholic territory. Bob Ross on defense. Oh my gosh, the mind games. They're playing it so safe. Lake Stevens is doing an incredible job on defense. Bob Ross just did two back-to-back, -back, two back-to-back -back saves. Below average tells me that in the other game, they just won game one of five in overtime. Lake Stevens Rocket League Esports is doing great right now. Cobain hits the corner. This is in a scary spot for Lake Stevens, but a nice escort by Tater Tots. He goes up on the backboard and sends it far and away. Tots rolls it towards the goal, blocked by Chillstad. Bob Ross, a nice touch. Preston's gonna block that one though. Send it clear back to the Lake Stevens side. Pterodactyl clears himself. Jockeying back and forth. Gets, uh, Bob Ross gets demoed by Preston. Cobain in position. Oh, great block by Pterodactyl. That was such a scary shot. Misses. Come on, Bob Ross. He's taking it slow. He sends it out across, but the second Kennedy Catholic player was in position in the goal. Cobain, a slow flip, rolls around. Bob Ross chips it back towards the goal. Preston off the wall. That was in a good position for Lake Stevens for a second. Nice touch by Potts. Rolls it towards the goal. Is that an open goal? No! Chillstead with the save. I don't think that would have gone in anyway, but that was really close. It's tied 0-0 zero to zero with 2 minutes and 45 seconds left. Some incredible saves so far. This is not just an offensive game. The defense of these players on both sides Absolutely incredible. Some really scary saves for Lake Stevens uh, and a handful of near misses on the other side as well. It's in the Lake Stevens midfield right now. Preston rolls it around, dribbles towards the goal. It's demoed by Tots. Bob Ross decides to take it towards the goal. The Tater Tots is waiting for some boost. Preston back in position, but Cobain takes it away first. Preston sends it back towards the goal. It's an open goal. Lake Stevens to get back into position. This might be it. Oh, that's it. Lake Stevens was out of position. All three players on the wrong side of the pitch. 
It is zero to one with Kennedy Catholic up in game number four. Yeah, all three Lake Stevens players caught flat-footed on that one, unfortunately. The challenge sends it back towards Lake Stevens. Pterodactyl takes it off the wall. Misses that little touch off the wall, unfortunately. Chilstad decides to roll it towards the goal and pulls back. Probably didn't have to boost if he wanted to do anything. Oh, that's not good. Bad position, bad position. Oh no, I can't believe that just happened. Flat-footed. Two Lake Stevens players caught bouncing around in the goal. Stuck on the wall, stuck on the wall. The Spider-Man defense does not always work, unfortunately. All right, it is zero to two. Kennedy Catholic is up in this game four. Lake Stevens needs to find a way to put some points on the board if they're going to put this one away. Otherwise, we might be going to a game five. Bob Ross sees his opportunity, but he's challenged by the Kennedy Catholic player. It's rolled to the right, off the post. Preston can't put it away. Oh, they almost got a free third point on Lake Stevens there, but just barely had it saved. Preston rolls it across. Good block by Bob Ross. I think that angle would have made it in anyway. Jill Stad sends it towards the goal. He's got a boost. Paradactyl clears. A minute and 15. Lake Stevens needs to put some points on the board if they're going to stand a chance in putting this is standing a chance in this game. 60 seconds left. Down two. Preston rolls it across. Pots up on the wall. Look at some aerials. He doesn't get the touch he wants. 56 seconds left. Paradactyl's back on defense. Bob Ross blocks it. Sends it clear. Cobain grabs the boost though. Bob Ross stuck in the back foot there. A nice touch by Bob Ross. Cool. Can Toth put it away? Oh, robbed by the post. That goal is Kennedy Catholic's best player this game. I cannot believe that just happened. That is like the fourth time that's happened. And they were able to find a third point. Slip it past, slip it past the Lake Stevens team. Unless Lake Stevens can put some serious points up on the board, this is going to be probably going to a game five. That demo. Ten seconds left. I don't know what Lake Stevens needs to do in order to beat Kennedy Catholic here. I feel like they did everything they could have been asked for. So many great shots, great defense. Um, really only one of those shots where they caught flat-footed, you know, only one of those shots where they found um, just completely out of position. All right, and welcome back to a game five, ladies and gentlemen. second time we've gone game five up against these guys. The second time that Preston and Bob Ross Pool have found themselves on opposite sides of this game five. Pterodactyl demoed by Chillstad. Todd sends it towards the goal. High in midfield right now. They fight for it in the middle. What a goal by Preston. That was a nice shot. minutes 23 seconds left right back towards the goal how unfortunate that sucks all right Lake Stevens needs to put some pressure on here I think that was an opportunity missed right there by Potts. Pterodactyl sends it out towards the goal. A nice shot, a nice touch. Oh my gosh, all three of them, just a wall out in front of the goal. 
Taps! Oh no, the post! Come on! Put it away, somebody! I cannot believe it! The post is the best player on the Kennedy Catholic team. What the heck? Oh, so many goals. Just a little bit of an angle off the side. It would be a different story. There's a shot by Pterodactyl. Two points to one. Kennedy Catholic is up by one. We still have a game on our hands. Pterodactyl in position for a nice touch there. I think Pops may have been able to get it even if we didn't. Come on, chat, you guys. Let's get some cool story bobs in chat. Come on, this is what he needs. Cool story bobs. Cool story bobs. Get those cool story bobs in the chat. Come on, Bob Ross. Come on, Bob Ross. Out in the middle. Flat footed, goes back for some boost. A smart call. Still set blocks. Still in a decent position here. Potts sends it towards the goal. The first miss, second miss. The third Kennedy Catholic player is able to send it back. Pterodactyl, a decent shot. Oh my gosh, Tots. That wasn't Tots, that was uh, Bob Ross almost able to put it away. Three minutes left. Lake Stevens has to put one more on to tie this, or we lose game five to Kennedy Catholic. Jockeying out in the middle. Lots of good pressure. Oh, oh, the pull, the post. Come on, there it is. Pterodactyl with a nice little assist from Bob Ross. Cool, it's two to two with two minutes and 40 seconds left in game five. Lake Stevens are not letting any more of those close shots get away anymore. No siree. It's a little bit scary to commit so many cars uh, of pressure onto the goal for a shot like that, but when you're getting robbed of such close calls, it's almost a necessity at this point. Nice assist by Bob Ross, the Pterodactyl, who is our, our new player for us this week, putting in some work. That was the second point of the game. Lobs it high. Preston out of position. Toss chips it off the corner. Almost with a nice second touch there, but instead Kennedy Catholic is able to send it back out of the way. Bob Ross cool. That was a scary place to be, man. Oh, thank God. Cobain challenges back towards the goal. Bob Ross is in position high in the midfield. He goes to air. So does Chilstad. They all missed. Pterodactyl goes to air. A nice touch. It's floating towards the Kennedy Catholic goal. Tots tries to roll it in, but misses that angle. A good shot by Pterodactyl, nonetheless. He goes to air. A nice touch. He goes for the... Oh, he went for the double tap and almost got it, but it was deflected by Preston. Cobain goes up on the wall, rolls it around. Tots sends it over Cobain. Tries to block the, the clear by Preston, but unable to get it. 2-2, two two, 1 minute and 25 seconds left. Blake Stevens needs to find a way to put a point on the board. Seal this Kennedy Catholic team away. High midfield. Back to Lake Stevens territory. Tots rolls it, clears it. Set midfield. A nice touch by Pterodactyl. Oh my gosh. He almost scored that with that touch. Tries to get it over Cobain. Looks like there's a demo back there. Pterodactyl taken out by Chilstad. Open goal, but not this time. Pterodactyl actually gets demoed back into position. Bob Ross off the ceiling. Chilstad goes to air. They miss though. Floating towards Kennedy Catholic. Blocked by Preston. 45 seconds left, it's two to two. Kennedy Catholic closing in on the Lake Stevens goal. Tots doesn't have any boost. He's trying to make the most with what he can. Small dribbles around the side. Nice block, nice block. That's what, if that's all you can do with the boost at the time, you're fine. 30 seconds left. Preston goes to air, misses it, it's at midfield. Kennedy Catholic does not want to let this goal pass them. Playing some strong defense here. Pterodactyl off the wall, challenges. Chilstad loses the challenge. High up off the backboard, rolls around the corner. A lot of speed on that one. Preston in position. Double taps, misses. Tots blocks it. Three seconds left. A shot by Chilstad. It's not enough. And it's on the ground. We are going to overtime in game five. Lake Stevens versus Kennedy Catholic. Last time, you know, I, I'm not even going to say what happened last time. I don't want to jinx anything. Pterodactyl sends it around the corner. Demos, Chilstad, come on! Get the combo right here! 
Come on, Pops, get there! Oh, come on, no! Flat-footed Pterodactyl did all the work he could possibly do. But no Lake Stevens players in position. Let's get some Bob Ross Cools in the chat. Come on, guys! High in position. Pterodactyl with the angle! Oh my gosh, he's blocked high in the air. Bob Ross Cool stops it from going back to Lake Stevens territory. All three Kennedy Catholic players gathered together in front of the goal. Toss off the wall, misses. Two Lake Stevens players back on defense. Pterodactyl, full boost, rolls it around the corner. Tries to pinch it past the Kennedy Catholic players in front of the goal, but it's cleared by Chillstad. He's out of boost. A nice block by Tox. Stops the momentum from the Kennedy Catholic team. Cobain rolls up high and around, misses. Bob Ross shoots. Oh my gosh, almost secures. Good attempt by Bob Ross. It's in Lake Stevens territory now. Fumbling slowly around in Lake Stevens corner. Tapped by Preston, cleared by Potts. A shot by Pterodactyl, a demo by Tots. No way! Game five, overtime! Lake Stevens beats Kennedy Catholic with a beautiful demo and a touch by Pterodactyl, who just for the first week puts in the work. Lake Stevens C beats Kennedy Catholic B in a really close overtime game five in back-to-back -back weeks. An incredible display. And I'm looking in the chat right now and I'm seeing that it looks like Lake Stevens B just beat Kennedy Catholic C in game three in overtime, which means Lake Stevens this week, a clean sweep of wins. Great defense from both teams. Great pressure all the way throughout, back and forth. Oh my gosh. Man, you guys, Lake Stevens Esports Rocket League, what more can you want? Lake Stevens A finishes the regular season undefeated, which means next week they're seeded number one. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to watch more Lake Stevens Esports in the future, definitely make sure you follow the channel. Uh, but also make sure that you give the Lake Stevens High School Video Game Club YouTube channel a shot. Um, it is LSHS video game club yep. also check out our twitter page at esports underscore lshs goodbye everybody have a wonderful evening hope thank you guys so much kamayakin uh great games like steven's players pat yourself on the back a team you guys get a bye for the first week b team and c team you guys are done for the season way to finish the season on a big win until next time bye bye